Capricorn, here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the fourth week of April <coughs> and this week I decided to record it outside because as you say, as you see it's beautiful weather, it's around 25 degrees so it's really gorgeous and also you can hear lots of beautiful animals and nature in here so I think it's beautiful and it's very important for our souls and uh, hearts to thrive because animals and nature are very pure innocent and uh, mesmerizing part of our life so we really need to surround ourselves with that so that's why I think it's gonna be beautiful way to do the reading okay so I hope you will enjoy Capricorn and um, let's start for this week I'm going to be using the um, psychic tarot for the heart by John Holland and the spellcaster tarot okay so let's go for it so I hope you will be able to see me. Okay. So let's go. Okay, my beautiful angels. What's going on with Capricorn in love for the fourth week of April? What's going on with Capricorn in love for the fourth week of April? What's going on with Capricorn in love for the fourth week of April? So. It's really hot. And there's no wind, so I think it's really gorgeous for those who like to be on the sun. What's going on with Capricorn in love for the fourth week of April? What's going on with Capricorn for the fourth week of April? There's literally everybody has a pet, whether it's a dog or cat. Capricorn so let's see if you can see I think you can see okay Capricorn so you have a uh, joy and stability which is for a once so I can't see anything it's so sunny then you have a trust which is a fool and the three of ones just take the lead the sun Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So, Capricorn, you have a beautiful cards. Some of you could be dealing with an 
either earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and or another Capricorn, or it could be a fire sign, which is uh, Aquarius, uh, Jesus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What I feel though uh, could be somebody younger, or could be just somebody with a younger way or of uh, thinking or young mind or it could be just uh, love at the beginning okay what I feel is that oh with this four of wands and the sun there's definitely something which makes you <coughs> something or someone makes you feel really uh, that's the right surroundings of secure surrounding uh, for you in terms of relationship of love if you're interested in someone that person makes you feel really happy or really joyful mm, you feel that the situation you are in at the moment is very stable and uh, you don't really feel much uh, negative vibes for now which is really beautiful and I congratulate you Capricorn a, there is uh, this week it's gonna be more about a trust and about a spontaneity uh, just no, don't be afraid to do another step you know don't be afraid to take a leap of faith if you need to uh, do some um, next step to like stabilize your uh, love or relationship or if you're interested in someone so if you want to do uh, some kind of a stable environment for them or if you want to ask them to to go to next level with you or if you if you want to basically ask them out if you're not dating yet so it's the great week for this it's um, the cards are advising you just uh, take that risk it's just you should be the one who's going to take that lead who's going to uh, do the first uh, step forward to them okay it could be also in order for others of you it could be them who, who are going to uh, message you or take the first step and take the lead uh, so it could be vice versa but uh, whatever your case may be okay um, also what I feel is that There's definitely uh, just kind of like a playfulness going on between you. It's, I wouldn't say it's something very deep at the moment. It's probably just a, a beginning. So you're enjoying your company. Uh, you are flirting. You are trying to just uh, take it with the flow go with the flow which is great which is good i think it's uh, no need to jump any chapters but i think the this week is going to deepen slightly more it's not going to be only a flirt and fling it's going to start to feel a little a little bit more deeper yes yeah, so it will um maybe start to grow some foundation for maybe oncoming uh, commitment okay but still you um, you should just kind of uh, love message each other you know try to kind of get to know each other slowly no no deep stuff yet uh, just kind of like make yourselves comfortable with each other and uh, try to talk a lot try to make some connection in the mind level in the soul level and enjoy each other okay um, 
if you are deciding for some of you if some of you are deciding whether you should uh, do something take that lead and do some approach or whether you should <coughs> get some uh, something going on and the cards are basically telling you yes take that lead it's a good idea it's a good time for it to take the lead and to get, message them give them some message or uh, you know take that step yourselves take that step forward for them to uh, be able to feel your love okay Capricorn so that's what I feel so far Capricorn you have really beautiful cards I'm really delighted for you uh, I would say that there is not much uh, to say in terms of negative vibes there are no negative vibes to be honest it's just all so smooth and smooth and comfortable so i think this week you just enjoy what you have and if you're trying to if you're going to try to decide whether you should ask them out or do some something act upon something just go for it go for it take that lead okay so capricorn there was your reading I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. If it did resonate, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you have something to say, please uh, send me a comment. I would love to hear your feedback. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the spring or summer as much as I do. And I hope to see you next week. Love to you all. Bye.